What's up, everyone? Welcome to Moments mm-hmm. with the Mobleys. I am your man, Johnny Mobley Jr. Hey, guys. I'm his wife, Zedra. And we are something like an ordinary couple. With extraordinary purpose. Greetings, salutations, accolades, blessings, greens, beans, tomatoes, ham, yam, you name it. So, just to give y'all a disclaimer, my wife is tired. So it's not that we don't, I'm not, I can't be responsible for what comes out of her mouth during this session. I'm sure we, this probably, what we're supposed to be talking about is um, the balance between church, your family, and the job, your job. Mm-hmm. Oh, just yeah. everything, you know, yeah. like everything. I got a feeling this go, this go kind of bounce here and there. But, you know, I'm here for it. I live with her. I've been with her for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, all our, our mob stars, I'm sure y'all already know how she moved and y'all seen her like this. Um, y'all ain't going to get the, the sleepy, angry Deidre, but you're probably going to get the, the tired, um, funny Deidre. So... Wrap on your boots. And everybody that's still one night standing us, stop it. Just subscribe, please. Well, where can they go to subscribe, baby? Um, YouTube. Listen, go to Moments with the Mobleys. Mm-hmm. We are Moments with the Mobleys on all platforms except Twitter. Mm-hmm. X. Now X. Now mm-hmm. X. Mm-hmm. We are Mobley Moments. On, mm-hmm, on that platform. On that platform. What do we need them to do when they go to YouTube, though? Subscribe, hit it, so it can ding you every single time a new episode yeah. come out. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find a word. Trying to find a word. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, and so, just a side note uh, for any of you who um, watched the episode um, last week about us. That we need, we weren't needing counseling. I think that was the name of it. Um, the new version of that is actually up. Um, we got that switched out um, after a minute f- four, 15 or so. Um, the, the, uh, I think that was the name of it. The rest of it was silent. Um, so we weren't, you know, trying to make y'all read our lips or nothing. Um, it was just, you know. Uh, Something that happened, I guess, with the uploading or something went crazy on it. But um, it is a little technical difficulty. Um, Oh, yeah. Thanks for the team getting it um, fixed. And um, you can go and watch um, all of it with sound now. Because somebody messaged and was like, hey, you was getting ready to get to a juicy part. And then I I couldn't hear it no more. Um, But I did send that to her uh, today. Um, so, um, you know, contrary to what Mr. Mobley has said, um, I'm going to be on my best behavior today. I promise. Yeah, I sure am. And, um, so what we're talking about is Mr. Mobley. So gracefully put it, uh, I told my son in love that I was going to put him, um, shout him out because he, we're, you know, we're always looking for, uh, topics and topics to talk about or any questions that come in. We appreciate those. Or somebody might say, well, Hey, you know, would y'all talk about this or would y'all talk about that? Or I, I really liked it when y'all talked about this, that, or the other. Um, and so, but he called, um, just kind of out of the blue on Saturday, he called me and I thought he was just calling us, you know, say, Hey, how you doing? Maybe he was, you know, planning something, a surprise, something. But he was like, Ma, I just, I wanted to, I want you to, um, yeah, he said, I'll be listening to your podcast while I be working at night. And I just want you all to um, talk about this subject. And so he started talking. And of course, it's something that we've, 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 the conversation that he and I had is, uh, topics that I know that we've talked about before, maybe not all on one episode together. And so I told him, I said, we're going to talk about this because we had a nice, uh, 15, 20 minute conversation just about, um, 
marriage and balancing actually when he said what what he was thinking about some things that he was thinking about it actually fits along with the topic of that um the, is the topic of our book um the perfect recipe, perfect recipe you know because he was like you know he said i was just thinking about how some people just really are really envious of other people's relationship and how they balance work and life and kids and you know money and their time together and all these things he said but if you would just take the time to pay attention to your spouse and what's going on with them and how you all maneuver as a couple and as a family and do what works for you and both of you all agree to do what works for you that you'll get along better and have a happier and healthier relationship versus trying to always fit in what somebody else is doing or you know what's making what's working for somebody else another couple yeah. and i told him i said well that's good stuff we had a really really good conversation and it led to some other things and we'll share but i know the one thing that comes to mind it was years ago and then you i want you to expound on this mobley years ago i was talking to um a young lady and she was just talking about how um you know, her and her husband had just bought a new home, but she was complaining. And I'm like, well, what is there to complain about? Like, he, this, you know, your husband, good person and legit was, you know, no, he didn't have a booming career that, you know, made, you know, six, seven figures off of one job. But he worked a couple jobs. And again, like I said, they had just bought a home. And at this point, she wasn't working um, they had an infant, the infant was several months old and, um, technically she could, you know, have gone back to work, put the child in daycare and gone back to work to help out. But instead she was complaining because all of her friends had husbands who had careers and why couldn't hers have a career and all these things, you know, and so, you know, I, I believe, you know, I was like, well, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work like that for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, whatever your path was, whatever his path was, you knew what he was doing when you got with him. And it wasn't like he was doing anything illegal. Like I said, these were legit jobs that, and, and on top of the fact that y'all had just had a new baby and he was working these jobs and y'all had a whole brand new house and it wasn't no yeah. little bitty itty bitty house it was a whole new construction build a very nice home two story home and so I just saw that I thought about that when after uh, Mary and I, and I talked the other day um, just about that whole scenario and so that somewhat feeds into the fact into the point that I'm making of excuse me instead of you being focused on what you have going on in your home and the fact that no, your man not be may not be a doctor or a lawyer or one of these professions, and he's actually just working several jobs to make sure that y'all have what y'all need. And instead of going, maybe you could put the baby in daycare, like y'all. I think they had talked about, and you go work to help him to add to it. You're complaining about the fact that he doesn't have a career like your friend's husbands, and so for me, that's just kind of being just kind of inconsiderate yeah. selfish i would say selfish selfish um, inconsiderate <clears throat> as well though like i go ahead i'm um, go ahead well i we've talked about stuff like this on many occasions and yeah. a lot of times you know you pay attention to other people and their lives and you know you have conversations about how they're doing what they're doing, mm -hmm. and then you want that for your life. But just like you said, it, it might not fit. So what has to happen is you got to remember that the husband and wife is on the same team, and how you get through stuff like this is communicating with your spouse. Appreciate them for where y'all at now. Right. Um, he was, you know, he didn't have to get a second job. He could have kept his one job. <laughs> Made sure he paid the mortgage and the light bill, <laughs> and y'all have been around there eating 
you know, syrup sandwiches or something. That would have been what it is. But right. He wanted to supplement, you know, the wife not working no more at the time until right. she was able to go back to work. So I think that was a, you know, a, a, a smart move on this. Back. And I mean, they, they were young then. So, yeah, he might not didn't know, you know, who he was and what career he wanted to go in and all that stuff. So, but he was making sure he paid the bill. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And a lot of this got to do with my my most famous words, your identity. You don't know who the heck you are, so you're trying to live through other people, and you want what other people want, but you don't know they they tell you to let me tell you something about your friends. Your friends tell you you don't know the their stuff, process, <laughs> the stuff they want you to know. <clears throat> so a lot of your friends ain't gonna tell you everything. Um. And then you don't know their process, like my wife said, on how to get there, how long they've been together. Mm -hmm. You know, husband might have went to college and was focused on his career before he ever met his wife or right. vice versa. Right. So the paths is just different. Right. So, yeah, it, you know, but that's pretty much, I mean, know who you are, man. Know who you are, know who you're married to, and Work on work with that. You can't be on another team and want what the other team got. They playbook ain't finna work for you. So, and what my wife said earlier about our book, it ain't out yet. So, just in case y'all try to go look for it, but it's coming. I know it's been it's been a long time coming, but it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, a long time coming for for us too. Um, but it it is it's it's a work in progress. Um, the the other thing that he you know we talked about when I just interjected as far as them not knowing um, the other uh, you know other couples process you've I've had you know some people um, especially when we have you know uh, wedding anniversaries and stuff like that um, I've had people tell us well you know of course every a lot of people tell us. You know, happy anniversary and stuff like that. Why are you looking the cup like that? <laughs> it's Taco Doritos. So I, I don't. I bought them. Okay. So side note: loaded Taco Doritos. I saw this lady in the store. She had a buggy full of stuff. She was headed to the register and she stopped on the chip aisle. And so I watched her as she was grabbing her chips because I was trying to figure out what kind of chips I was going to get. So she, I saw her uh, right at, I, she left me on the chip aisle and went to the register. So I think I just ended up grabbing like some regular Lay's potato chips because mm -hmm. I just kind of felt like it that day. Um, after I was up there pondering, you know, wondering, walked by her when she was at the, the checkout counter. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just waiting for the story. I walked by her when she was at the check. Y'all, she had three big bags of these loaded taco Doritos. And so in my mind, my mind said, Oh, those must be real good. Cause they not on sale. They like Doritos, what, like five dollars or something a bag, if not more. That's like fifteen, almost twenty dollars worth of Doritos. They must be real good. So you I'm not gonna no. Them? I say I'm not gonna get them this, this time, no, because that's just too much money. Uh, but the next time I went in the grocery store, I got them. They good? Mm -mm. They not? No. <laughs> And why you in here? Got trying to force myself to eat them. Yeah, you gotta eat them because you don't bought them. Yeah, they were on sale. They were two for five or two for six. They was regular yeah. price, mm -hmm. and so I won't throw them away. Is yeah. So yeah. there you have it. But anyway, but but she got the whole the whole studio smell like a Mexican Mexican restaurant. I do, and they're not even good. I'm just wasting calories. It's a Mexican on restaurant. On these nasty yeah. Doritos. Um, so it, I don't I don't believe in being wasteful. Mr. Mobley, I'm trying to steward well, and so I'm not gonna throw them in the trash. So, just, you probably should have had a conversation with the lady and said, "Hey, I probably should have." She probably used them for something else, like she probably, you know, she or probably, something. or she probably used them to dip them in queso. Maybe queso, queso. Yeah, that's probably what she used them for. Anyway, so, that's the side anyway, note. Back let, me, let me go back to the story. So, you know what we what we also talked about in that what I was pointing out was. 
people tell us, you know, happy anniversary or when people hear our story or whatever. Um, I don't necessarily like when people say, you know, y'all are goals or this or that. Not, it's not that I don't like it. I just, I just sometimes if somebody says that to me personally, I just try to reiterate like, you know, although I can appreciate, you know, where you're coming from with that. Really take the time to think about that before you say it, because when before I'm going to say to somebody, especially another couple of goals, do you understand what they went through to get to where they are? Because nine times out of ten, if they've been together for any you know good amount of time and I'm not minimizing people who've been married five years or 10 years or something like that. But when you get into 10 and 20 and 25 and 30 and 50, baby, they've gone through something, some things, not something, but some things. And so before you, you know, it, and, and they may be, you know, all, and even for us, we're at year 31. So I don't, I want, especially women who, you know, see it and then think, okay, so, you know, ooh, when I get married, I want to love like y'all's and, but baby, this love right here ain't got like this, you know, in yeah. a day. We had to dig, <laughs> dig and search for this love because it wasn't there when we first got it. It wasn't. We thought we loved each other. It wasn't. Other. It was lust. It was lust at first sight. Yep. My lust wife, at flirt first glance. That's what it was. My a booty. Oh, Jesus. It was lust at first sight. We're going we gonna to just tell it like it is. It was not love. And, you know, it. I liked him a lot. He liked me a lot. And I liked the way he looked. And he liked the way I looked. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, think about, you know, what you say. It's, it's okay to, to be like, okay, well, you know, I really, you know, desire to, to one day have something, you know, or be with my husband for a long period of time. And I still have longevity. But... Take the time to actually talk to the person or the couple. I think before you make a, a big statement like that, um, and, but also know that with that, you know, with them being, you know, happy and especially when you see people on social media, because although I need to be posting more and stuff on social media, I'm just kind of turned off by it to be, if I can be completely honest, because I feel like people be, like completely like faking the funk of they put on there what they want y'all to see and and sometimes i just be like i don't want it that's the social media courage that what that is I, I i sometimes i just be like you know what i don't even want it social media <laughs> i don't courage. even want it people be whoever they want to be on it. social media they can say whatever they want to say or whatever so i never knew you felt like that i don't I feel just, the same way. I no, I I, I ain't like, talk about legit. social media. I'm talking about when people say y'all are goals. Oh, so I don't I don't feel like that. I well, do make I, the like, comment that I just um, want them to re go ahead. Hush, Deidre. Go ahead. I say I always say when they say, yeah, you and your wife, y'all like marriage goals, man. I say, yeah, you want the if you want the the destiny the the destiny that we we are living right now, you got to go through the process. So make sure you want what this is. Because you just not go get married and then da da, you here. You said da da, da da. Mm -hmm. da That's the right. Da da, da da. Okay, da da, da da, da da. Whatever. <laughs> da da. Okay, it can be D instead of T. It's okay. Go ahead. Let me say what I say. Say what you say, baby. Da da, and you there. Yeah. So it takes. It's a process. Yeah. Um, and because you've been married, and this is the one thing that I always say. Because you've been married for a long time, mm -hmm. you might have went through stuff. That don't mean you still live in the, the full potential of your relationship. Right. Because I know people who've been married for 40, 45, 50 years, and they like roommates. They take separate vacations, all that. So, And it just makes sense because they've been together so long and you know, they split the money and they can pay the bills and all this other stuff. And, yeah, they just fist bump and keep it pushing. Kids out the house, all that. So. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's. But I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't flinch or nothing or, or say nothing about that because, you know, I, pretty much our whole story is on our, our podcast episode. 
And, you know, even now, we still go through stuff. The only difference between everybody goes through stuff. Every couple goes through stuff. The difference is we always tell them the difference is we not we we not exempt from anything any other couple go through. Yeah. The the difference is is how we handle it. That's the thing. We we never attack each other. It's, it's never well you did this and you did that and why this and we we talk about everything and then when something happens we be like hey what's this. Mm hmm. What's, what's happened here? Yeah. And then we have a conversation. Man, my bad. I, I, you know, uh, my bad. It, it's whatever. Oh, I don't know, babe. Uh, we we just take care of it, but we always respond solution-minded because we're on the same team. So what we want to do is get it, examine it, and then either throw it away, delete it, or deal with it. And that's how we work. Yeah. So um, we're not exempt from nothing nobody else go through. Money. The sex, the, the all that we go through all that stuff. We just handle it different. That's the only difference. Well, we are exempt from some of that stuff because we just don't we don't we don't allow it and to come in the door. We don't. They, um, but when I say not oh. exempt, means it still happens in our life, but we just handle it different. Oh. Seem really well, it, controversial. It could be a lot of stuff that comes into me, whatever. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I'm you, just, you, you just. I'm not. No, no. I'm not. I'm. I'm. And so I'm in. No, because when you you, I know you just listed a few things, but there are a lot of things. You know. Well, it's because be. it's well. It's because of our posture towards how we live our life. Right. Absolutely. And we are we are, we have a rhythm, and we are on one accord, and we move as one. So yeah, that does. No, exist. I get what you're saying. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, stuff still happens. Right, absolutely. Stuff and, is exactly and so still I'm happens. just, I'm just being, I'm just being a little sickening with him because he already gave y'all that disclaimer before we started um, recording. It's a little different. It's, it, it looked like um, sleepy, angry, dude trying to peep ahead. Well, I'm not. Yeah, I, I didn't um, know. But what I, what I, I guess what I meant by it is Johnny, like, um, we, you know, we are human beings. We're people just like everybody else is. But as we were talking about today, we make like every, I'm talking about y'all. We are passionate about the fact that we are going to talk no matter how hard it is. We're going to relate. We're going to communicate. We're going to put in the effort like every day and daily to make sure that we're good. Like for real, for real, because when when you don't and you just kind of leave it on your marriage on aut autopilot, then that's when, you know, things can have a way of just kind of, you know, fluctuating on in the door or in the window. And then the next thing you're looking at, like, well, how in the world did this get in here or how did you know, how did this happen or. You know, like Johnny like to say, I'm, you know, looking for my undies or just because, you know, you you stop relating. And then when you get, and this is going in a totally different direction, but when you, oh, yeah. when you stop relating, <laughs> man, I'm sick. I'm I'm a, I'm a box you, baby. When, when you, I know my wife. When you when you get to that point that you realize that y'all are in trouble, ask for help. Don't sit there and die in your marriage. Especially um, I, I, if you have especially options if in your know life. Us. Or it don't even have to be us. But if you got options but, in your life that you know that you can get count wise counsel from, most of the time folk wait to they, hey, so we want to see if um we can get a little help. Okay, what what's going on? So they about to foreclose on our house. Okay, when? Yeah, we, we need the money today. What? Joker, you couldn't call us before this? I ain't even talking about the foreclosure. I'm talking about the fact that um she about to file for a divorce. Wait, what? Or he about to file for divorce. Or we about to just do a a, per, a temporary separate. Like, what, what, what? Yeah. For me, that offends me. 
Why? I don't it understand. Me. What's the... For me, it offends me. You want to know? <laughs> it, y'all probably say, I'm just taking this way too serious. Put, your mic, put your mic back up to your mouth because they're not going to believe you. It offend Let her. She debating me. me. I don't understand what's why. happening. Let me tell y'all why it offends me. <laughs> because of the mere fact that we especially and i'm not saying this uh, this is this ain't for everybody because everybody don't have the access that some people have to us and this is this is why i'm what i'm saying this for if you know us if you you know even even if you i'm talking to y'all too if you watch us and stuff and follow us but i'm more so talking to the people who like legit have known us in some at some point in our marriage it don't have to be that you're a new person but if you have if you have known us at some point or met us at some point in this marriage and it ain't new or whatever like why are y'all not like reaching out for help i don't understand that Maybe offend was a strong word, so I take it back. Sorry, okay? But that irritates me to the point of no other. Like, y'all will sit in these marriages and be tussling and not unable to figure stuff out. And even if y'all don't want to come to us because y'all know us, but even if y'all say, hey, can y'all recommend somebody? We can we can even do that because some you know some people might think well oh they know us we want somebody objective because we've had that before but we've able been able to refer but at least ask somebody like I y- y'all that makes no sense like I feel like people don't have people don't have like the the will to really stay together y'all that, like what, what is it you don't you think they not taking their vows seriously well or I, I they wanna... be ready to like one. So Run I, out on the marriage. Like, what? I want to just say something. So okay. I, I think what my wife was trying to say is. I'm saying. Because it. we care about marriages so much. <sighs> and we are invested in it. And we really believe in it. It's kind of disheartening. Um, I, I don't. She's, she's not irritated with y'all. That's not what she meant. And I of said course I'm just irritated. No. She's not irritated. Not it's just a dis, little disheartening. And Everything. you know it makes us it makes us you know a little on the sad side sometimes, but we 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 <laughs> we get it. Everybody has their schisms and isms, and you know um, how they want to see and all that. I, we always say until people get sick and tired of gets being sick and tired, yeah. until they are comfortable in their skin and not still trying to find out who they are and. I go back to the identity thing. If you don't know who the ham sandwich you are, you're always trying to portray somebody that you want everybody to see you as. But then when your foolishness get too big for your little house and then it goes over, then you're trying to, you know, do damage control. And yeah, it just ain't work out, you know. But you ain't said nothing that you and I here smoking crack and spending the money up. You ain't never even mentioned that part. Wait, why, why did we get the crack now? Nah, you, you, you want drugs? You went. <laughs> Listen, no, you went, no, no, you went, no, no, you, don't try to do that. You went to the dog. You, 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 you selling you, you and using drugs and you doing all this other stuff. The money gone, the lights every every now and then. Um, you you sleeping around? You know, caught something? You know, get to your wife. It's just so much stuff out there. Now you you don't want that to be your portion, but you done made all the decisions. But yeah, it ain't it ain't really like that, you know. We we just what what the what, what the thing is? You aggressive. Errors errors error error. What the thing called? Irreconcilable differences. Yeah. Is I what? I don't like that word, so oh. I don't even try to understand how to pronounce. It. I don't I said want. I was it. irritated. He seems a little aggressive. What are we? I mean, I'm just we saying. Doing? What are we doing? If you make the decisions, the choices go come back. If you well, let me. If you make the choices, the decisions, the results is gonna be what it's gonna be. So, so you guys, I don't know how much better that was. He started she, off real good she, to try to soften it. I think she's trying to you. Really you know, little got a little, little angry Deidre. She well, rub angry off. Johnny on came out. I'm not. I don't think I have a a part of me that's angry. Where well, is right? Like where? Where's this going? She called me sleepy. Sleepy. Um, sleepy. Well, sleepy Johnny. When she tried to nasty Johnny. Mm-hmm. Johnny be nasty when he be sleeping. Yeah. Only reason that happened is because you be trying to have whole conversations with me while I'm in the middle of a sleep. 
Oh. And I don't, I don't understand. You don't and understand. Then, yeah. Okay. Hey. All right. Hey, babe. Hey, scoot your leg over, bro. Get off me, man. I'm in a sleep. That's how I be. What? He said, bro, get off me, man. You said I'm in a sleep. You call me a brother. Yeah. And you call me a man. Look. And all that. I don't ever say that to you. You want me on you, Johnny. No, but this is the thing. You don't say that, but you give me evil looks. But you want me on you. Babe. Babe, you all right? I'm fine. Okay. I'm just asking you. You know what? You over here making noises. I'm trying to figure out if you all right. I'm I'm fine. Go to sleep. Is that how I act? Go or that's sleep. you? Or that's you no, portraying that's you yourself? Tell. No, that's you. I'm fine. Go back to sleep. Well, how did we get here? And just this morning, you was telling me that you laid your hand on my back and you was praying for me. Yeah. How did we get here? I did. Why? You want to tell them why I laid my hand on you? Why? Tell them why. You don't know what I told no, you. No, you can tell them why. So... My wife, so being with, with, but this is so off, this is so off. It really is off about. topic. But so being, being with my wife, as long as we have, we went through all the, the sleeping patterns. So, you know, the snoring and, you know, I think she, she claimed now when I'm real tired and I snore, I do a little lip vibration. Now I'm, I'm sorry. That. I recorded it. So it's not a claim, it's a fact. Go ahead. Well, I need to see that. You saw it. Oh, well, I did. No, no. Time? Okay. I don't need to show. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, sir, because I got. I don't need I you to show home. them. But and you need to stop. Rec- anyway, she has a thing where she used to snore on the exhale. Now she snore on the inhale. You don't have proof. <laughs> you don't have proof. I. I do have proof. I actually recorded you a couple of times. I just don't show you. you okay. Want me to show you? Sure. No, because you're gonna want to show mine. I am. I don't I don't want to do that. Okay, well let's finish the story so we can. Because hers to the is topic. up close and personal, and she got like 17 videos of me. Anyway, um, she done put it on Facebook before. She just so disrespectful. Anyway, when I don't hear her doing a little snore, then I immediately wake up. Cause I'm like, I, hey, we make sure she's breathing. So I went to put my hand on her. I was like, and then she moved. I'm like, all right, I mean, no foolishness. This is not what I want to wake up to. So make sure when the snowing stop, you know. Anyway, um, and I put my hand on her and I pray for her. We occasionally do that at night if we wake up and, you know, but that's why. I prayed for her. Prayed for her. Try to pray for her snoring to go away. But I still have no proof that I snore. Sir, sir. Go ahead. A part of our vows say not to uncover one another. But Joker, you just was cool with it a few minutes ago. Well, I changed my mind. I have the right to change my mind. So let's get back because this is a part of what could cause trauma in a relationship. This is a perfect example of what could cause strife. (laughs) (laughs) Turn it off. It's off. It's off. I better say she kind of mumbles some stuff in them sleep too every now and then. This has been moments (laughs) with the Mobleys. Moments with Johnny, because I'm not coming to here no more. You heard a little talking. (laughs) That was the TV. Y'all, oh, this has been moments with the Mobleys. I don't, I don't, we is we even putting this out? Did you help the people? We help. We did help the people to yeah. show them how this foolery can uh, turn into something good. Oh, so, Jesus! Let, let me just say that this, is funny. We to me. we gonna get back on task because both of us being silly tonight. That is but, funny. But to truth be told, like for real, for real. Mm. Think about and and focus on what's going on in your relationship. Allison, you following what's going you on? Start, you? <laughs> uh, just they just gonna put this video out. They ain't gonna even be no name, no name on yeah, it. This might be some clips. <laughs> Listen, it right. might be just chopped so, up in some clips. So, so at the end of the day, y'all, what I what I really want y'all to just grab hold to is 
focus on building your relationship with your spouse not trying to make it what somebody else's relationship is not comparing your husband or your wife to your friends or what somebody else got going on in their relationship or what they're doing or what they're not doing focus on doing that um you know me and my son in love conversation led to talking about you know, when you have stuff going on in your relationship, instead of going outside of the house to talk to somebody else about it, um, example, another man or woman, if you're, you know, uh, depending on uh, if you're the man or the woman in the relationship, take that energy and focus on what's going on in your house. Like he said, he works nights, um, you know, his wife works days, um, but they try to find a good balance between getting the kids ready for school and getting them to school and, and all those things and homework and, you know, spending time together as a couple, spending time together as a family. So whatever that looks like for you, Put, put the best foot forward into, or the best your best effort forward, should I say, into creating what's going to work for y'all and what's healthy and what's, you know, balanced for you all. As we've told y'all before, you know, at, at some point, all of the girls were in something. And so we were juggling um, dance line and flag and team and... Uh, volleyball and you know just everything that we all had going on but we found a way to balance it and make it work and get the girls picked up and get them dropped off and all these things and work and so um we found what worked for us do we have kings thrown in there absolutely do we have you know issues that came up in our marriage absolutely but the the catalyst for when those things came up y'all in in our earlier days versus where we are now is we weren't intentionally putting in that effort to make sure to check in with one another to make sure that we were good to make sure that you know we were okay to make sure that um you know we weren't carrying something or you know just not feel feeling a way about one another but not ne- but not necessarily checking in to make sure that the person no- knew or to make sure that we were you know talking about how we felt about our relationship and everything that that entails and so when we made you know what we feed what you feed is gonna grow is is what you gonna reap basically and so we just made we just started making different choices to do something different and to not allow those doors and windows to be open and we do it intentionally and so that was basically the bulk of the conversation. And so we it, it went off into even a conversation about when, you know, one person, when, when a person, the, one of you, you mess up in a marriage as far as infidelity or, you know, whatever that looks like or makes a, a, a mistake that is detrimental to your union. Like, how do you you know, recover from that and everything like that. And so, you know, like I said, the conversation went, um, went on for, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes, but what he was telling me, um, and it, it wasn't, it was, I'm glad that he called me because we have, you know, different conversations from time to time, but he was real passionate or just about, um, wanting to say you know ma could y'all talk about this on the next show and i you know i said well i I believe we have um at some point maybe not in all one episode but at some point we had but i promised him that we would talk about it because it is important you got to find and do what works for you and when you mess up don't be afraid to come to your spouse and say hey i messed up you know I, I wasn't feeling this way or I wasn't feeling that way or wasn't getting, you know, something that I needed. And instead of coming to you and talking to you about it, I did this, that or the other. You know, how do we recover from that? What does that look like? But at the end of the day, the conversation led to, um, of course, it's good when when both of you are um, committed to making it work when whatever has torn you all apart or has separated you all for whatever reason. But what happens when, you know, there's obviously been a riff in the marriage and one partner is now all in, but the other one doesn't seem to be all in. Well, <clears throat> I'll say this. It's a very low percentage of couples who will actually say, hey, I screwed up. 
I slept with somebody or I did some very small percentage. It happens, but a very small percentage. Or just um, after it comes out. Mo- even most if of the time. Even if it's found out, but you know. Most of the time, how it happens is somebody get caught. Right. And then it or comes out. Yeah. yeah. So very small percentage, but um, I wanted to kind of expound on the, the, the thing where he said balancing church, um, family, and, and your career. Um, and even with what you just said, it's intentional. Even if you don't understand the totality of being married and what your role is as a husband or a wife, the decision has to be intentional. You have to make up your mind to have negotiables and non-negotiables. This is what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. This is not. This is what we're not going to do. Mm-hmm. We're not going to divorce. We're not separate. We're not this. And like we said before, that takes the power out of all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then it literally makes you go towards figuring out some kind of solution for whatever it is that comes up. Might not work all the time. It might not be easy all the time. Mm-hmm. But if you take the plan B and C and D off the table, then you will, you will make it work. Intentionally making it work. And that's how the change and the maturity and the growth happens. Um, for us now, not before, but for us now, the our relationship well let me say this our relationship with god and what we do in our local church is extremely important that's that's not something and i won't even say that's something that we do it's it's a part of our life and who we are so that's very important to us me and my wife's relationship is very important to us so once you put these things where they need to be at as far as status wise, even if you don't know how to handle it up there yet, if you put it in place, it can grow and it can evolve and mature into what it needs to be. Um, so it definitely has to be intentional and you have to understand, you have to understand completely what each one of them are. Mm-hmm. Now, my career and all that stuff and that that's fine, but it means nothing if I ain't got God, if I ain't got her. Period. It, it means nothing. So I will, I sure. will drop out of those three things. I will drop that third one because I I've been known to I leave a job. I get I make some money some kind of way. Not, well, let me take that back. Not some kind of way. I'll make money the legal way to make sure our stuff is taken up. But the intentional. Being intentional about the what you choose to be important, um, understanding who we are as individuals and as a couple, um, cultivating our relationship and strengthening our relationship as it evolves and mature in our marriage, as well as doing the exact same thing with our relationship with God. That's very important. So those things are definitely at the the number the. Definitely at the number one, two, three spot type thing. Cause we always say we put God first and then we put ourselves. So I put myself next and then mm-hmm. she put herself next. And then we immediately come in after that. Cause if I'm not straight and she not straight, then you ain't really got nothing to give me. Or I ain't got nothing to give her. So we got to make sure we in that place. But yeah, once you understand and understand the, the levels of where you are, even if you set the standard high, you still have a whole lifetime to mature and grow and evolve into that. Yeah. But you definitely have to put the stuff there because if you don't, if you try to just randomly live life and we're going to let whatever happen, happen. And that's when the non-communicated expectations comes in. That's when you talking to Susie Mae over here at the office and she just understand me and you know, Bob over here in the corner, he just, he just, and you know, he just really understand me. And, you know, he smells so good. And, you know, this, well, you, you know, most of the time you give them what you having problems with in your house. So all they got to do is just take that and reverse it. Not necessarily do it. Just say, well, I wouldn't do that. Just give you the, the verbiage. And then you're looking for your draws. So just saying. 
that was an extreme jump. No, you you um. Well, that you, that's what I got. You said what I said. That's what I. That's all I got to say. And I I feel like we need to end this because I feel like. Are we done? Yo, you know yo yo sleepy, tired Deidre is affecting me. Wow. <laughs> Wow! Wow! It's like kind of contagious because okay. we it's, won. It's, it's so it's okay, baby. Listen, we won. It's okay. So if she feels something in her body and she feels something going on, then I I feel it. Oh, really? That's so the it's oneness. my fault. Okay, okay, cool. I ain't said it was your fault. You I just said I say feel I feel the effects. Whatever that means, you blaming it on me. I I, don't, I I never said I blame it on you. Blame it on me. All right, so Say we gonna end this. My fault. Well, y'all see something else on this podcast. Yeah, we just so. we really we if, the, okay. So the end result. You, you are right, Allison. You <laughs> over there looking at look around we, like we just it. really. <laughs> Really, really. I know you. You real. You like, but it's like real minute, new. I could barely see it. <laughs> she like this over there. She like clearly kill it. <laughs> I like. Oh man, go get this. Um, go get this drug test out this closet real quick. <laughs> you just um, y'all just if listen, don't sit and suffer. And even if we're not the ones to help y'all, if y'all need a referral, if y'all need, you know, y'all want to talk, does it be anonymous? Whatever that looks like. Like, for real, for We ain't got to know y'all. Just, just make sure a- that you get the help that you need to... to Marriage is can be beautiful if you truly want to be with the person and you're putting in the work and y'all intentionally are putting in the work that it takes, like for real, for real. Um, and so that's why we just speak sometimes from a, a place of, you know, my passion. Like I said, you know, the passion ability is passion. It really is. Um, but we just we just want y'all to be good because it's it's um, just because we enjoy um we enjoy our marriage. And was it always like that? Y'all, you know, we've been completely transparent. No. But at the end of the day, if you, if you, if you want to be with the, with the, the, your spouse, that person, um, there's a way that you can find how to work things out and work through things and, um, and figure it out. That's what we're saying. Um, our email is info at moments with com. If y'all would like some suggestions, like some help, uh, like a referral to, you know, somebody else, whatever that looks like. So hit us up. Um, honey already gave y'all the information for social media. And so, um, and y'all can you know, literally put the questions in y'all have yeah, y'all have heard us like legit do ask, and we'll ask johnny and deidre yeah and we'll do it we've never called nobody name yeah none of that stuff yeah so um just just be be intentional about what you guys you know are doing especially with your relationship um and one funny thing that i saw um somebody was saying um about the whole Will and Jada situation, but then somebody, um, they did they play a song somewhere? So, somebody what, something say, else somebody happen? saying no. Somebody says um, a rapper or, or somebody who an artist says they want that Will and Jada kind of love, and so uh, J Cole. Okay, thanks. Uh, you know, but they said what they bleep that part out in the song or something like that when they played it somewhere, and so y'all and not not to even pick on that because I don't even want to go into that subject, but because I don't know them people business, um, you know, even though. You know, Jada told it in her book. That that ain't my business, y'all. At the end of the day, want your want uh, the God kind of love. That's the kind of love I want. Don't even say you want. The, you know, I don't. I want. I want even want the Deidre and Johnny kind of. I want the God kind of love in my marriage, um, because that's a whole different kind of love. And we we we'll talk about that maybe you know, sometime. Um, okay, so that's all. That's all I got. Okay. You good? That's all I got. You straight? Yeah, we wish y'all so the best. We gonna go like ahead and end the do. end the podcast because sleepy sleepy Deidre still, you know, feeling kind of way and I Allison don't. freaking me out. Keep looking all over the place because this little itty bitty spider yeah, on the wall. Like anyway, nose. this has been Moments with the Mobleys. I am your man Johnny Mobley Jr. I'm still his wife, y'all. I'm Deidre, and we something like ordinary with couple. extraordinary purpose. Peace out, y'all. Night night. <laughs>